Hey Trade Zero fam, today we're going to be taking a look at a walkthrough for Zero Free, a full in-depth guide on how to use this web-based platform. Alright, so Zero Free is a web-based platform that you can use across the board for Macs, Windows, pretty much any operating system. You have your traditional level two, comes equipped with two charting windows, you also have a watch list, notification section, and so much more. So jumping right in, let's take a look at how to use your watch list. Currently, you now see my interface is on Zero Free. All right, so there's different ways. So there's a few ways that you can access the zero free web-based platform. You can do so by navigating over to your client portal and looking for the launch zero free tab. Let's take a look at the watch list. So on my panel here, I have my watch list and it's currently empty. So let's go on ahead and start adding some symbols in there. All right, so I'm gonna add some tech symbols. So I'm gonna do Apple. Let's also do Tesla. Let's do Meta. All right, if I click on this wheel, or cog, little symbol here. We can give it a name and I'll just name it tech. And so now we have a category for tech only. We can go back and we can add several other categories as we like. We're just gonna keep it on tech for now. Now, let's say I wanted to link this watch list to a particular window. I could do so by navigating over here to the right corner where it has group B. If I click on that, I can select any of these options here from A to E and link it to a chart or level two window. So we're gonna choose group A and we already have group A here selected and we also have group A already selected on level two. So if I click on one of these, right? Like Apple, for example, it switches over to Apple. Tesla, we have our chart and our level two now switching over to Tesla. Awesome. Let's take a look at zero free charts. In the top right corner here, I can click this up button, let's bring it up. Now we have it in our view. Now we can set our charts over to intraday. We can also do daily charts. We also have a few options here to add indicators, draw, display, and we also have some help uh, information over here as well. So when we click on help, it gives us a little description of what certain categories are. Now bear in mind that this is a zero free version, so it's not completely customizable. If you want larger windows for the charts, well, what you can do is you could zoom in on your desktop, right? You could also zoom out, but you can't customize expansion on the chart itself. So in Zero Free, it'll come equipped with two charts. So we have one chart here at the top, and if we scroll down, now we have our chart here, and then we can load some data. And we have an Apple chart down here, right? Since it's on A, everything else changed, right? So we have our chart here that switched to Apple and also our level two here that switched to Apple as well. So with the charts, you can see that we have various indicators here to choose from. So let's go and add a simple moving average to our chart. So clicking on the indicator may prompt you to edit the indicator itself. So on a simple moving average here, we can see our time period is set to 30, but we can adjust that and we can change it. Let's just give it to 26. All right, then it changed to a 26 SMA, okay? Now we can go back in and we can change the settings here, right? We can choose our source to be at the open, high, low, or close. We're gonna keep it at close. We can also change the color of our SMA line. We can do solids, we could do a dashed line, we could do dashed dotted line, etc. And we could also change the pixel width of the line itself. All right, so we can make it thicker or we can make it thinner, all right? And then if we hit okay, that'll apply the changes and we're all set, all right? Now in our drawing section, we have a few options here, right? So we can clear all drawings, clear selected drawings, we can edit selected drawings all from this menu, right? We have your traditional drawings here like your lines, your ray lines, segments, horizontal lines, vertical lines, etc. All right, we're gonna go on ahead and add a line to the chart. See how that looks, beautiful. You simply hover over the line, all right? You can click it and then you can go on ahead and click on draw and you can clear select the drawing. And that'll just remove that one drawing itself. Same thing with the indicator, right? If I wanted to remove the indicator, all I have to do is scroll all the way up and just go on ahead and remove the indicators that I have placed on the chart. Great. 
So now as far as display, we have a few different options. So we have our bars, colored bars, candles, Heikinashi, line mountain, etc. We can also add, uh, we could also toggle certain things on the chart. So we could add on the crosshairs, right, for, uh, for the chart, okay? We can also uh, add grid lines on the chart as well. Um, we're just gonna remove those for now. We can set our volume to visible or not visible. All right, and that's pretty much it for the display. Your help tab is going to give you a more in-depth explanation on certain categories for your zero code charts, all right? And then you can see that we have it on desktop instructions and then we have on mobile instructions, okay? All right, now let's take a look at our level two window. So in our level two, again, this is already linked to our Apple chart here. All right, your level two is gonna be Level two is absolutely free with zero free. You're gonna have access to the in-depth bid and offers and also time and sell information as well. It's a more detailed stock information right here above inside of level one. So we have our current price, open, high, low, and close as well. Now, when we're ready to place an order, all right, we're gonna go up to our order ticket montage right up at the very top, okay? So let's talk about orders. So your zero free supports order types such as your market, limit, stop market, stop limit, and also range order type, right? And if the time enforces, it supports day, good till canceled, and good till crossing, right? Now, when you're ready to execute an order, all you have to do is just come up here to the top left corner of the order ticket window, type in your symbol. All right, we already have it on Apple. So we're gonna change our quantity to 100. We're gonna keep our market order as the order type. As you can see, price and stop price are grayed out. This is a market order, so these areas are unnecessary, okay? I'm running this on a demo account, so my route here says SIM, but your route may say smart if you're running it from a live account. And then over here on the right side, we have our buy, sell, short, and cover buttons. All right, I'm gonna go on ahead and buy 100 shares at market. But the other thing that I want you to notice is the notification symbol here, okay? So we're gonna hit buy. Now we have our order confirmation window that populates, and it also has some other information here as well, like commission estimate, if there are any commissions applied to the order. Again, this is just a simulated account, so we don't have to worry about commission fees. So we can disable this order confirmation window if we'd like. I'm gonna hit the checkbox there. And then we can hit confirm. And now we have our notifications that highlight for us. It says our order for Apple has been requested, the order has been placed, and then the order has been filled at X price. Okay, great. So if we scroll down to our portfolio window, we can see that we have that Apple order here, okay? All right, so now let's take a look at our short list. Here's a few tips on how you can see if a stock is easy to borrow or locate required. So on our chart here and on our level two, as well as our order ticket, we have Apple. So Apple has a letter S next to it, okay? And that indicates that the symbol is shortable or easy to borrow. Now, if we take a look at a different stock like PLTR, we have LR, all right? LR is locate required, which means that we have to go in and locate the stock, okay? All right, so we come on down to our short list. We type in our symbol, give it a number of shares, 100, and then we can hit locate, all right? So once we hit locate, we see the price there, all right? And it's priced at spot 003 cents, okay? For 100 shares, that will be a total of 30 cents to purchase 100 shares of Palantir. Now, we can accept this price by clicking the screen button, or we can cancel this request simply by clicking on this X right here, okay? Now, if we click on the check button and we receive our locates, it'll drop into our inventory here. Right, right underneath our open items section. And then once it's available in our inventory, we can then go on ahead and short the stock. And that's the short list.
So let's go back into our portfolio. Let's just go on ahead and arrange this to be at the very top. So it's in our view. So now let's go on ahead and start creating some limit orders so we can take a look at our active orders tab. Okay, so let's choose a different symbol. Let's go on ahead and choose Tesla. We're gonna do a limit order here. Now, if I click on our bid or the ask price, it's gonna load the price in on the order ticket area, okay? So bear that in mind. You can click on your level two ask or bid to automatically input that information, that data, that price inside of your order ticket, all right? All right, so we're gonna change the price here. We're gonna do a price of 200, we're gonna hit buy. And now we have our order requested notification and order place notification populated in the top right corner. And if we drop down on the notifications tab, you can also see that information inside of this window as well. Now, in our portfolio window, we see that we have our active order here to buy Tesla 100 shares at a limit price of 200, but we can cancel this order, right? Or we can let it sit until we get a fill, but we're gonna cancel this. Other cool thing about this is since uh, our portfolio automatically links to our order ticket, our level two window and our chart, we can just click on a symbol to change all of that information inside of the chart level two in the order ticket that's on Tesla. So if we click on Apple, all that information and data has changed now to Apple. And we're gonna set a market order to sell 100 shares of Apple. All right, great. So now we're left with the two shares that we held overnight and 100 shares of Tesla. The inactive order tab will show all your orders placed with status restricted, canceled, or filled. And then your closed positions is self-explanatory. This is going to reflect all the closed positions and the realized profit or loss for each position. So over here we have our PL and then our day PL, and we made eight bucks on that Apple trade. All right, so now let's check out our preferences. So from our preferences, we can see that we have four different preference menu options. We have hotkeys, appearances, user, and account. On the account, you have your account number and information here. And then we can also amend or change the price type from best price or last or previous close. Under our user tab, we can switch over the language from English to Hebrew or Italian. Under appearances, we have some visibility options. So the top bar can display or not display the day realized, day unrealized, day total equity and equity ratio. And that just minimizes the information that you just see, right? And then as far as notifications, we can turn certain notifications off, such as our order confirmation or symbol warnings, etc. And then under hotkeys, we can go on ahead and begin creating some key combinations to quickly execute orders inside of Zero Free. And that concludes our Trade Zero presentation on Zero Free. We hope you enjoyed. Turn your notifications on for the next video.